How is it even possible that a movie is this good? It's like one of those rare movies where you're like, how is this even possible? Like, it's like, how do, how, do, how do movies like this even exist? How is it possible for two people to come up with an idea this crazy, film it and put it out in cinema? How is this independent? How does it work? How does, why does it work? What? How is this even possible to make a movie this good? Like, okay, but like, like, hear me out. Okay, Daniel Brothers, tell me your secret. How do you go from making some of the craziest stuff out there, like Swiss Army Man, who comes up with that shit, to everything, everywhere, all at once. Like, teach me your ways, y'all. All right, now, before I get into it, I know I can't just say the movie's amazing. I know I gotta go into detail. I know I gotta give something as to, like, I gotta sell the movie at some point. Like, what about the movie makes it so good? Well, here's where that boring segment comes in. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is. Earlier today, I went to the cinema to watch a film directed by the Daniels called Everything Everywhere All At Once. This is one of those rare and exceptional films where I had high expectations going into it, but even as I was watching the film unfold, it seemed to have exceeded my expectations quite a lot. I'm gonna fucking do it. While there is quite a lot that I like about this film, what specifically did I enjoy? Well, first off, I thought the acting was phenomenal from everyone, especially the main actress who plays Evelyn. I thought everyone did such a wonderful job at sharing emotion and just really understanding the role they were supposed to give, especially the husband, the, the daughter, the girlfriend, the grandpa, the everyone, even Jamie Lee Curtis did such a phenomenal job at playing her role in this wonderful film. You liked it, or not? I suck it, do you? For an independent film, I noticed that the visual effects, especially in this film, were very interesting, because while you can tell that some of the aspects were low budget, never did it ruin or detract from the experience of watching this film. I also thought the message in this film was great and something that a lot of people aren't gonna expect while going into this movie because yes, you expect to see like sort of a wacky, crazy A24 film directed by the Daniels, but you don't really expect to see a message in one of these movies and I'm happy to say it definitely had a message. Along with that, it's just one of those rare films that really decided to exceed my expectations by just doing everything it could to not only work as a crazy film, but to be a good movie. It's just one of those films that comes by every once in a while where you're like, how is this made? Who came up with this? And, and I'm, I'm happy, happy to say, say I, was I was really, really, really shocked really at how good this movie once. was. And overall, I just thought the presentation, the acting, the story, the message, the cinematography, the visual effects, even the music, everything was so good in this film. And I really can't think of anything I disliked about it. And yeah. But I bet you fucking dumb ass on the internet can. Why is it that every time I make a fucking video, my eye decides to twitch? Go watch it if you haven't seen it. And I'm giving this one a five out of five. Who the fuck left? Austin! You left your fucking phone here again!